In the fight to preserve its way of life, the rural South had a clear advantage. Horses and men who could ride them. The cavalry kept the Confederacy on top during the first two years of the war. Legendary Colonel John Singleton Mosby, once jailed for shooting a fellow college student, played by his own rules. John Mosby says, look, this war is a different kind of war than we fought before. We're fighting on our own land. We know the roads. We know the farms. We need to attack the Union from within. Mosby employed guerrilla warfare, leading his rangers on daring raids behind enemy lines to commandeer much needed supplies. They called him the Gray Ghost. He could strike and leave very quickly and he was never caught. During the wee hours of March 9, 1863, Union Brigadier General Edwin Stoughton slept soundly just 15 miles from the White House. Outside, Mosby and his rangers approached with caution. Surrounded by Union troops, they had to move quickly. The story goes that Stoughton was snoring, and Mosby crept into his bedroom and pulled the covers off of him and smacked him on the rear. Stoughton said to Mosby, you know who I am? And Mosby's like, well, sir, do you know who I am? By morning, the Gray Ghost had captured one Brigadier General, two captains, 30 enlisted men, and 58 horses without firing a single shot. Apparently, Abraham Lincoln said, well, I can make more Brigadier Generals, but I can't make more horses. 